Hi there, my name is Anais. I work at Aqua Security with Tracy and Trevi. Now, if you clicked on this video, you're probably curious about license scanning with open source tools, specifically with Trivi. So we're gonna take a look in this video at license scanning. What is it? How do you do license scanning with Trivi? And then how do you ignore different types of licenses? Because it works a bit different for the license scanning versus for the other security scanning and ignoring other security issues as part of, for example, vulnerability scanning to ignore CVEs. License scanning is slightly different. We're gonna take a look at that as well. And we're gonna take a look at how you can set different levels of severity for different types of licenses. So some licenses that might be problematic for somebody else might not be problematic for you to be used in your project. Let's get started. So we're here on a Trivi documentation where you can find, first of all, the installation option. If you don't have Trivi installed yet, there are different options for different operating systems and different package managers. We again head over to the documentation section where you find the different scan targets, the different resources that Trivi can scan. Trivi has four different types of scanners with which it can scan those different resources. Vulnerability scanner, to identify CVEs in your libraries that are used, misconfigurations to identify misconfiguration issues, secrets to identify exposed secret issues, and license to identify different licenses. Now, as part of license scanning, there are different types of classifications of the different licenses. You can also modify the different classifications. We're going to take a look at that in a second. And these different classifications respond to different severities within Trivi. So if you want to, for example, just see the forbidden licenses, you can filter for the severity level of critical. It's important. Now, getting started with license scanning, you can scan, for example, your container images for license issues. And you can state you want to have unknown, high and critical issues for severity and they respond to unknown unknown, <laughs> um, high to restricted and critical to forbidden licenses in that case. Now, if you want to use the license scanner as part of your image scanning through the image command, you specify scanners and then you specify the license scanners. So we can just go ahead and run this command real quick to give an example of how license scanning looks like. And as you can see in this specific image, there's one severity high restricted for GPL2 license um, that is contained within these different packages that I used within the container image. Now, scrolling further down, you can also configure license scanning. So for example, you can specify additional ignoring rules to ignore specific licenses. <clears throat> now you can either specify that through CLI commands, such as done here through the flag ignore licenses. However, if you specify in a CLI command, it's difficult to share with your teammates the type of licenses that you would want to have ignored and then basically enforce that. So instead of specifying it as part of an ignore license, licenses <laughs> uh, flag, we can also use as part of filtering we can use our triviignore.yaml manifest. Now the triviignore.yaml manifest is the next evolution of the .triviignore file. The .triviignore file doesn't give you as many options, but if you want to ignore certain licenses, you have to specify a .triviignore.yaml manifest, and then you can specify the license that you would want to have ignored by the license ID, and then the path to the license, but that's optional. So basically you need a dot .triviignore.yaml manifest and then you can specify which licenses you would like to have ignored. So in my example repository, I have added in my dot .triviignore advanced.yaml manifest an additional section on license scanning that I would like to have ignored. So for example, in this case, I want to ignore the GPL 2.0 license. So if I look at the command from earlier and scan this Alpine image, I am presented with one license. Now I've specified that I want to ignore this specific license, GPL 2.0 license. So I can reuse the same command and just pass in my new trivia ignore file. Ignore file. And then it's trivia trivi ignore. And it's 
to be ignore advanced and I can rescan the same container image in this case. And in this case, license scanning is enabled. It's running license scanning, but since I specify I want to ignore this license, it's not going to show up. And this is how you can specify in your Trivi ignore dot yaml manifest. You can specify specifically the license scanning and the licenses that you would like to have ignored. Now, separately, you can also define as part of your license scanning, you can set up custom classifications of the different licenses. And this is not done as part of the Trivi Ignore file because the Trivi Ignore file just focuses on the security issues that you want to have ignored that should not be reported upon. But in the Trivi.yaml manifest, you can specify which licenses are have different uh, severity. So forbidden, again, responds to critical severity. And you can specify here which ones are forbidden, restricted, and similar. Now, these are the default. This is the default setup. But I can, for example, specify that I want to have forbidden MIT license, which is part of the notice. So I think that's a low vulnerability in that case. If we just check here. Notice is low vulnerability. So I can change the way that uh, the different licenses are reported upon. And that's part of my trivial.yaml manifest. So trivia config, I have here my trivia.yaml manifest, and this is how you would then specify it to be uh, notified in high severity about, for example, an MIT license being present. Now I need a repository with an MIT license in this case, because this container image um, Maybe this container image has one, MIT license. If I just uh, pass in now my config file and it's tv config and then my license file, let's see what will happen. So in this case, as you can see, it worked. Yay! As you can see, I also want to know high, unknown high and critical vulnerabilities, but now I passed in the config file where I specified that the MIT license is actually a forbidden license in my case, which responds to the severity critical. Since I want to see the severity critical, it's now being reported upon. So this is how you can specify different severities in your Trivi config file. Now you can add it to your entire Trivi config file as an additional section. You don't have to have separate Trivi config file. It can be in the same Trivi config file for the specific scan. So as part of this Trivi config file, I can also specify that I want to, for example, only see critical issues, high and unknown. So I don't actually have to pass in the flags, but the flags can be specified also as part of the Trivi config file. And then I only have to pass in the Trivi config file, which makes it possible to store the configuration in a version controlled way in Git. So those are kind of the benefits. But again, if you want to use uh, Trivi ignore to filter for licenses, you would have to use the Trivi ignore the YAML manifest, which is the new version of the Trivi Ignore file, or like the more advanced, more complex version. And you can also specify the licenses that you want to have uh, classified differently in your Trivi YAML manifest. Now, Trivi has just reached 20,000 stars on GitHub, which is a huge milestone for us. And we would love to build on that milestone with new stars. So if you enjoyed Trivi, if you enjoyed this video, consider giving us a star on GitHub. The link to the Trivi repository, as well as all of the other resources used in this video is down below in the description of this video. Now, if you enjoyed this tutorial and you would like to see more tutorials related to cloud native security, security scanning and similar, then please do subscribe to our YouTube channel for upcoming videos. The button is also down, down below there, I think, somewhere. <laughs> um, also, if you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up and a yay. I really hope to see you in one of our next videos. Have an amazing day. Bye bye.